Can a snail be a pet? is an activity proposal based on research activities implemented by Tania Mata, a student from a master class and co-supervised by myself, Ana Cruz, Ana Paramés and Ricardo Machado. We all come from Instituto Superior de Educação e Ciências, ISEC Lisboa, from Portugal. Inquiry-based learning is a valuable strategy for introducing young students into small research activities promoting curiosity, observation and participation, acquisition of scientific knowledge, introduction to the scientific method and developing abilities and competencies such as critical thinking, decision making, argumentation, autonomy, reflection, etc. Although very stimulating for students, it presents a big challenge to educators and teachers that have most of them lack of experience in this uh, kind of approach and rigid schedules and class activity planning to fulfill. However, it's a valuable approach because it uh, gives the possibility of planning activities that promote interdisciplinary approaches and uh, they can work different type of knowledge. PL is one of the teaching approaches developed in ISEC Lisboa in the master classes of didactics of science and experimental science teaching curricular units from the master degree in preschool and primary education. One of the students at the time, Tania Mata, and author of this work, had the possibility of implementing the proposal we are going to present in a class of nine students from primary school. In this study, we assumed an interpretative paradigm and developed an action research project. The participants were nine students from uh, first and fourth grade, the teacher researcher and the teacher supervisors. Data was collected through observation, several student documents and protocols, and the teacher researcher's diary. Our proposal, Can a Snail Be a Pet, was based on the curricular guidelines for the first and fourth grade and we uh, have the aim to design and implement interdisciplinary science experimental activities in order to develop scientific literacy and introduce scientific method to this group of students. We chose the snail instead of a dog or a bird or a cat because it's a different animal that is not usually studied in class and also because it's very easy to grow and maintain and of course harmless. The activity was developed in three phases that are here summarized. In phase one, out of the classroom, uh, the teacher researcher prepared and planned the activity. Phase two, already in the classroom with the students, was the introduction to IBL method. And the phase three, uh, a little unexpected, was the construction of a snail's terrarium by the students. In phase one, the teacher researcher prepared and planned the activity in order to construct the snail terrarium for the class. In order to do so, documents were analyzed, such as the curriculum and some bibliography, to adequate activity to the syllabus of the class and select the best methodology of the study. After choosing the snail and learning about its characteristics, experts were contacted to establish the best growth and maintenance conditions. The construction of a snail terrarium was performed and different growth conditions were tested, such as the type of box, the soil, humidity and type of food. Phase 2 was performed in class. We needed to know what were the students' conception about snails and also to introduce the concept of an animal pet. This was done by reading to Portuguese tales, the snail and the clown and Sophie and the snail friend pet and the students were asked to after these readings to discuss their conceptions and also to draw a snail. The research question naturally arose, can a snail be a pet? And of course, all students immediately answered no. In order to verify this answer, investigation was guided in books, internet, interviews with family and friends and observa observation of live specimen. The two snail terrarium constructed in phase one was also observed and it allowed students to know the characteristics of this animal, its life cycle, understand its life conditions, and also to manipulate different materials, such as the magnifying glasses. When they drew a second drawing, uh, we were able to verify that conceptions were changed and knowledge was increased. They could answer now the same initial research question, 
after all these investigations and the answer changed and all of them answered yes. So we were about to finish the activity when they were the ones that suggested new investigations and the construction of a new class snail terrarium in order to uh, evaluate other food and what happens when snails died. Phase 3 was also performed in class. It consisted in the construction of a student snail terrarium. And uh, this suggestion showed us that not only they were motivated and interested to do so, but also they were engaged in a way of thinking characteristic of the scientific method. We can then verify that they were able to put in action the IBL approach in a new scenario. In order to do the construction, a protocol was designed, the variables were identified, and we were lucky enough to uh, observe all the life cycle of snails, as we can see in figure shown in this slide. Also, the observation of a dead snail shell showed us what happened when a snail died. In conclusion, our proposal does not require any special material or equipment and can be easily performed in class. Snails are animals very simple to grow and with a very uh, short life cycle, which allows the study of the different stages uh, of, the, of this life cycle and reproduction and that we could observe during phases one and three. This approach highlights that it's possible to work all the curricular areas from a central science team, overcoming the limits of time and rigid schedules that some institutions impose today, educators and teachers. Investigative activities were performed, all with teacher guidance, of course, and orientation, but, and they promoted the development of students' abilities and competences, namely responsibility, autonomy, critical sense, reasoning and decision-making. This kind of approach enables students' appropriation of new scientific knowledge, which led to an increase of scientific literacy. Students were stimulated to experiment, manipulate, predict, register, interpret and conclude, which are characteristics of the IBL approach and of the scientific method.